They're trying to escape from slavery, resulting in death. But they've run into a huge problem. Water. Lots of it, and very deep. They've got no place to go. Worse, the enemy is in full pursuit with a vast army host of warriors. There's nothing that they can do to save themselves. In steps God. God opens a way through the Red Sea so that the children of Israel can pass safely through on dry ground to the other side. The enemy pursues them down into the waters. And again, God steps in. He drowns hard-hearted Pharaoh and all of his hosts in the sea. They're left for dead on the bottom of that ocean. God saves his people through the water, and the enemy dies. Now, St. Paul says that this event is like your baptism. The devil, the world, and even your own sinful flesh enslave you and result in your death. You are trapped in sin leading to death. The enemy is in full pursuit with a vast army host of warriors out to destroy you. There's nothing you can do to save yourself. In steps God. God opens a way through the waters of the baptismal font, connected to Jesus, to his death, his burial, and his resurrection for you. In this simple but sacred act, God works the forgiveness of all of your sins. He rescues you from slavery to sin and death, and he gives you a resurrected new life that is never going to end. Satan and his army hosts are left for dead. Sin is drowned. Death is defeated. All three lie at the bottom of the font, like Pharaoh and his minions at the bottom of the sea. You are saved, not by your own works, but by the working of God through the water with his word. What a great benefit you have been gifted in baptism.